Dutch supermodel Karen Mulder graced the catwalks and magazine covers of the 1990s, the star-studded era of top models, when she and her colleagues were more desirable than any movie stars. Karen Mulder, with ideal proportions and sensual features, made a name for herself by collaborating exclusively with luxury brands. But she earned fame not only for her professional successes, but also for her scandalous antics. Already in her early youth, Karen shone with beauty. She attracted men's glances wherever she appeared. A slender, long-legged girl, 178 cm tall, weighed a little more than 50 kg, luxurious blonde hair, lush lips, and a languid look. Model was fond of sailing, but she failed to become a professional in this matter. At the age of 15, while on vacation in France, the girl came across an advertisement from the elite modeling agency about a competition. This predetermined her future fate. Mulder's modeling career took off when she was just 16 years old. She was discovered in the mid-1980s and quickly gained recognition for her unique look. Mulder became a Victoria's Secret angel, one of the brand's elite lingerie models. Her appearances in the Victoria's Secret fashion show further solidified her status as a top model. Accustomed to the admiration of fans, Karen got married early. Her first husband was photographer Rainey Bosnett, with whom she was married for five years. After the divorce, she met a businessman who became not only her lover, but also the model's personal manager. The man handled her contracts, helped release a disc about beauty and fashion, where Karen gave lessons on face and body care, revealed the secrets of makeup and working on her figure. Despite her professional success, Mulder faced personal challenges, including battles with depression and mental health issues. She was repeatedly raped, provided as an escort and a comfort girl to the right people, including Prince Albert of Monaco. She took a hiatus from modeling to focus on her well-being. The model also said that she was abused by her own father. The model's sister and mother came to her father's defense, accusing Karen of systematic drug use and mental disorders on this basis. As a result, the model was placed in a clinic where she underwent treatment and rehabilitation. After recovering from depression, Mulder began a new relationship. Her chosen one was the Colombian tycoon Julio Mario Santo Domingo. In 2006, the 36-year-old supermodel gave birth to a daughter, but chose to keep the name of the girl's father a secret. In the early 2000s, Mulder decided to conquer the music industry. She released a single titled, I Am What I Am in 1994, which charted in several European countries. In an interview, the woman admitted that she hates being photographed and has suffered from low self-esteem all her life, not feeling like a beauty at all. As you can see, stunning beauty hides many psychological problems and a hard life. There were many difficulties, betrayals and scandals in the life of the model. Now nothing is known about her. She has stopped appearing in public. 